What do you do when you have a pile of computer parts laying around and some leftover wood molding? You do what every sane person would do. Make a redneck PC. I had three problems. First, I had a pile of perfectly working PC parts laying around that were either replaced with better versions of themselves and some parts that were literally shipping errors from Amazon that they didn't want back. And unused PC parts are like the Olsen ones. Just said. Second problem. I needed a way of recording Xbone only games like Halo 5. And I wasn't about to drag my heavy ass full size tower to the TV room every time I was going to play the Xbox. And the third and biggest problem I had? I was bored. First thing I pulled out of the pile was my old Zeus M5A99FX Pro Revision 2.0 motherboard. More than enough to handle this task. She has many features still used today and will support an 8 core processor if needed. However, I'm just going to be using one of my old quad core AMDs in it for now. Things to follow was my R9270X video card, a Cooler Master Dual Fan CPU cooler. I had several smaller coolers that would have worked just fine, but this one filled the space better and it looks cooler. No pun intended. I'm using a Western Digital Black Edition 1TB hard drive, a Corsair TX750 power supply unit. For the memory, I'm using a crazy unneeded amount of RAM. 16 gigs of AMD R9 Gamer RAM set at 2400 in dual channel mode. I understand it's way overkill. Amazon accidentally doubled my order of RAM once and told me just to keep it. And I was like, okay. To capture the Xbox juices, I'm going to be using the Record Central Live Gamer HD PC Express card. This will allow me to record at 1080p at 60 frames per second. As far as the Home Depot stuff of the computer goes, the chassis is unused wall molding and finishing screws. To keep in the redneck fashion, I literally used wood screws to hold in all the components. I did say redneck PC. First thing I had to do was make the frame of the motherboard. Then continued it forward to make the base. I then had to cut out a spot for one of the supports to fit around the video card. After the main body of the chassis was complete, I had to make a spot to hold the power supply. After I was happy with the power supply support, I had to make the hard drive bay. I will be using the side of the hard drive bay to put the name Redneck PC. It will be burned into it with a soldering iron to help keep that redneck look. This is what I have so far, but she isn't complete yet. I still have to install the start button, reset button, as well as a hard drive light. The start button will be labeled go fast. The reset button will be labeled it broke it did. And the hard drive light will be labeled doing stuff. This build will be using Windows 10 as the copy of Windows 7 already installed on the hard drive qualifies for the free upgrade. So it would be a updated retina. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the finished version as well as many other cool videos always getting uploaded. You all have a great day.